and all over the place today. Accents are jacked up. I'll try and do like Little Britain accent type. Doesn't matter. Hey, how y'all doing? Back at it again. Now, y'all know I love me uh, some coffee, iced coffee, frozen coffee. It just has to be cold. I don't drink hot coffee. Back to the day. Message, write that down. But I love me some of these delights because they don't have to, you know, I don't have to add sugar. And it's enough to tickle my fancy, if you must, if you will. So I always get the vanilla one or, you know, the caramel. Not to be fancy with the caramel macchiato. I just get, you know, regular degla. I'm not hard to please. French vanilla, vanilla. Hey, hook me up with it. But the girl was walking through Walmart. You know, while I'm easy. And I've seen something fancy. Bridgerton, baby. Look at that. These hoes got a god darn berries and cream, mother freaking flavor. Berries and cream, okay? Iced coffee made with real milk and cream. Now look at that. It got a blackberry on it, a strawberry, some little character, little thing right here, like blueberry and some whipped cream. Now who am I to turn that down? Not me, because I love the lights. I don't know nothing about Bridgerton. I just know people went crazy for it on Netflix. So I, I do. I be do the do. They do cricket? Yeah, cricket, tally -ho, you know, croquet, all those good things. But we're going to see what this hitting for. And it better be good because I got to drink the whole container if it's not. We don't waste stuff that costs more than mm dollars. Okay, okay. Except for some stuff. So, got my clear glass. You already know. Let's get a little snippy. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Where is the darn Dr. Pepper, little? Where's little sweet at? The sweet one. You know what I'm talking about? You know that note was good. All right, now. Pour it up in here. I'm just going to get a little razzle McDazzle. Just a little bit tickle my fancy. Tastes, I mean, smells very ice creamy. But you can smell that berry. Excuse me. But let's get into it. Freaking disgusting. I don't know why they were ever put this on the shelf for people. The nerve. No, I'm just bull jabbing. <laughs> Clearly, because I effed it up, right? One, I'm thirsty. Two, it's the truth. Like I said, this delights, they are the business. Good little perfect blend. Because I ain't going to lie to you, when I do my coffee or latte, whatever you want to call it, all the stuff I described earlier with the frozen coffee and stuff, I like diabetes in mine. So you don't like diabetes. I'm going to add a little bit of ice if it is coffee because it's going to simmer it down a little bit and, you know, uncrank it just a tad. But just a dash, but not enough to lose the flavor and the essence of what I'm going for. Just throw that disclaimer out there. But the light has a very delicious blend. You can't do too much. I can just sip this and go, as you can see. Now, to the flavor of it. It tastes like the regular delight. So if you know how the light tastes, you know delight is right. And don't say wait. All right. So they got delight. It has that nice creamy essence, that not too sweet, not too bitter. You do taste a delightful little berries and cream, berries and cream deliciousness about it. But it's not strong, and it's not like how when people do like strawberry banana flavors, and it's like. You taste strawberry and it's like a, a freaking artificial taste in banana. No, this is actually quite refreshing. You know what I'm going to say, refreshing. But it's a good blend of, um, I would say more or less uh, a blueberry and not so much of a blackberry. Well, I mean, it incorporates all the berries pretty well. That's why it says berries. But more of a blue and blackberry mix. I can't mix the words because it's going to sound the same word. But then you get the essence of the cream mixed in with the essence of the coffee, and it's just enough. So it's not too much, never too much, never too much, never too much. Oh. Okay. Well, either or, you know what's going on. Hop on down to your local Walmart. I'm about to say barbecue. I don't even know why, but you know barbecue season is amongst us, baby. Hop on down to your local Walmart. Matter of fact, go to any of your grocery stores, any of your Piggly Wigglies, your, 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 your K-Marts, your Targets, your, aka your Targets. Wherever you get your groceries at, 
not really gonna find it in the bodega. Sorry, don't shoot the messenger. But any of your grocery stores, I'm not gonna try to name them. You already know where you shop and where you can get all your fruits and veggies and stuff. Go in that milk aisle over there where you get the good drinks and the fancy drinks and your orange juices and your little coffee makes and your creamers and stuff. And some people have the butters over there. And look for Delights Ice Coffee Bridgerton, baby. And then when you drink this, I promise you're gonna go get a spot of tea. You don't need a spot of tea because you have a spot of coffee. And you're going to play cricket and all the other S's and stuff that make you feel like, you know, ta-ta. Then that's British. It's English and British. They're the same thing. I don't do geography. I told y'all that. But go ahead, baby. Go to the store. Get you one. Because I definitely, this ain't my only cup. And before I go, I will say, coffee and energy drinks do nothing for me. If you didn't know. They do not make me even more hyper than I already am. They do not wake me up. They do not put me to sleep. It is what it is. So it's just another drink for me. So don't be like, don't you go drinking all that coffee and stuff. You're going to be bouncing off the wall. Okay, mom, dad. But I can do what I want because I'm grown. Hey, holla at your girl, baby.